Hey, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Primavera P6 version 21.12, the free trial. That's right. If you're in planning, in scheduling, you want to learn Primavera P6, you already know, but you need to get your hands on a free trial. This is the step-by-step -step instruction video you want to be watching. I will take you through the whole process, including some important steps once it's installed. So stay to the end. All right, step one, let's go download the software from Oracle's e-delivery website. That's right. This is, we're going to go right to Oracle to download the software. All you do is grab a browser, type in e-delivery.oracle.com. e-delivery.oracle.com. Here it is. Let's go. Okay. If you don't already have an e-delivery account, you need to set one up to be able to log in and download any software. So that's the first step. Go ahead, click the create account button, follow through the process. Yes, you got to set up email and password and all that kind of stuff. But once it only takes a minute or two, but once you've got it, then we can go ahead and sign in. So let's pretend we've done that step and we'll go ahead and jump right to sign in. Okay. So this is Oracle's e-delivery software cloud. It has access to all their software. What we can do is we can punch into the search bar here. All we have to do actually is just punch in P6. Let's punch in P6. And you'll see there's quite a few entries that show up. Here's the entry you're looking for. Primavera P6 Professional Project Management. Let's go ahead and click that. And then we can click search. Okay, all the results that come, you can see there's quite a few results. What we're looking for is the latest version, which is 21.12, and it's at the top of the list here. This is our DLP, which stands for Download Package. So all we want to do is click this link. Now you, you saw the little pop-up, it said Added to Queue. So what we'll do now is we'll go to our queue, clicking the View Items here, and we can click Continue here to get ready to download. Okay. A couple things here. Notice we've got the right version, Professional Project Management 21.12. Notice we've got Windows X64, so we're on the 64-bit version of Windows. Hey Mac users, this video is not for you. By the way, Primavera P6 doesn't run on Mac. You have to have a Windows PC. Sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and uncheck documentation. We're not going to take the documentation. All we really want is this package here, and then we'll go ahead and click continue. It's really important that you read Oracle standard terms and restrictions, that you understand what you're agreeing to, that you understand all the fine print. I'm not advising you to click I agree and accept until you read all that stuff. So make sure you do your diligence there. All right, once we've gotten past that step, yeah, we can close this feedback page. Here we go. Here are the things that we are getting ready to download. Now, we could click this download button, but I'll tell you what, it packages everything together and asks you to download some, some other downloader thing. Let's keep it simple. All we're going to do is, see this applications entry here? All we're going to do is right click on this zip file. This is really the only zip file that we need. And we're going to do save link as. Okay. Now go ahead and save that file somewhere on your computer. I'm just going to put mine on the desktop. I want to let you know if this video is interesting to you, then make sure you check out planacademy.com. We are the premier trainer for all things Primavera P6. We have online courses for beginners to advanced. Check us out. Our courses are all rated four and a half stars. We have great training and we can get you trained up on Primavera P6. Okay, the download's done. Here's the zip file and I've got it here on my desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and do an extract all and extract all that stuff to a folder. Now I use 7-zip here and it just gives me an opportunity to speed that up a little bit, but I'm going to put it all into this folder. Let's go ahead and open the folder. And you can see we have our P6 Pro folder inside. And if we go into that folder, you'll find another zip file. We're going to extract that one as well. So once again, you can just do an extract all. 
until we get it into our P6 Professional setup folder. Let's open that. Double click to run the setup. Okay, we have the option to do a typical or advanced. To keep things simple, let's just do a typical install. Now, in case you happen to have a previous version of P6 already installed in your PC, which I happen to have, I'm gonna check this, uncheck rather, this replace existing versions. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, clicking next and going ahead right to clicking install. Now the install might take a minute, but eventually we get to this P6 setup screen where we have a couple check boxes. Okay, so number one, we're not upgrading anything, so we don't need to run the standalone upgrade utility, so we can uncheck that. We're not gonna run the database migration tool because we're not migrating any data, so we'll leave that unchecked. But we do wanna make sure we run the database configuration tool. That's where we actually build a database that P6 will connect to. Okay, so let's do that. Click OK. Okay, and P6 then pops up this database configuration screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new database. Now I have a bunch already from my existing uh, installs, but you may not have anything or you may just have this PMDB here. Regardless, what we're going to do is click the add button and we're going to add a new database here. So we're not gonna choose Oracle though. We are going to choose a P6 Pro standalone database. And you see in brackets it says SQLite or SQLite. SQLite is basically a database in a file. All we're going to do is install one file somewhere on your computer, that is your database. There's no overhead, there's no servers, there's no IP connections or anything complicated like that for a standalone install. That means that your install is completely standalone, encased, all alone on its own, not connected to any other systems. Okay, so let's give this database a new alias, basically a name. And the default name is PMDB. And I'm just gonna do a pen, PMDB2112, because this is version 21.12 or after Russia's famous album. Also, add a connection to an existing standalone database. No, we're actually gonna add a new standalone database. So make sure you choose that option. Okay, let's click next. And let's input some information about how we log into this database. Now, if the login name it says admin, I highly recommend you keep it as admin. This is kind of how it goes. You can put your, your own name in there, but your password, set it to whatever you want. Again, I highly recommend you just keep it simple and type in admin for your password. So username admin, password admin. You are also welcome to change your currency here. Um, if you're okay with accepting defaults because maybe you're not going to be getting into any currency stuff, just leave it with the US dollar. Um, it kind of keeps things simple. Okay, next. Now, we get to choose where this database is gonna sit. By default, it looks like P6 puts it into your documents folder. And I know that I already have a file called that, so I'm gonna put, you can name this thing anything you want, doesn't really matter. Just notice that it's got a .db extension. Check on load sample data. Why? Because what P6 will do will give you a database with all sorts of sample projects, sample resources, calendars, activity codes, all sorts of stuff you can go and explore and play with. If you don't check that on, you will have a completely empty database with nothing in it. And it's going to feel like the prairies. See nothing for as far as you, you can see. So check on sample data. Okay, let's save alias is saved successfully. And let's go ahead and click the X button in the top corner. That's the end. We have P6 21.12 installed now. Okay, but here's what I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video. You wanna stick around for this part. There's a little bit of configuration to do inside the tool. So let's open up P6. What we can do is go to the start menu here. 
you can see I have a few P6 things up here recently added, but those are none of the things that I want. So what we'll do is we can scroll down here to the Oracle folder. This is alphabetical, so Oracle. And we're going to load up P6 Professional 21. You can also use a search if you wanted. Um, this works great. So Oracle P6 21. Here we go. Here's our login screen now. Now, we're just going to open this advanced and make sure we're logging into the database that we created. That's right. And we'll just type in admin, admin, or whatever login you created a few moments ago. And we'll click connect. Okay, we're in. But you probably see this pop up. The appropriate industry for your organization has not yet been set in admin preferences. Please contact your administrator. Don't contact anybody. I'm going to show you how to fix this. Okay. Click OK. Okay. So once P6 is loaded up, we want to get rid of that pop-up screen because if we don't set the organization, it will pop up every time we load P6 and it's a bit annoying. So here's what we'll do. Let's go to the admin menu and let's go to admin preferences. Okay. On admin preferences, let's jump down to industry. This is where we have the option of picking the industry that best fits our use of P6. Now, I generally pick engineering and construction, but you're welcome to pick any one you want. If you're doing our training, I highly recommend engineering and construction. Now, what does this setting do? To be honest, it doesn't do a lot, but you will find where inside P6, there are a couple fields that will be named budgeted with one setting or planned with another setting. For example, planned units, if you're using, say, government or high tech. In other words, it will say budgeted units. That's about the only difference. P6 works exactly the same regardless of what you pick. It just changes some of the fields a little bit to be um, matching the way the industry speaks. Okay, so let's set engineering construction and we'll go ahead and click close. And it just says, next time you open P6, you'll see this is set for good. We'll say, okay. If you got a lot of value here, please like the video. It helps us out a lot. Any comments, questions, other things you want to see, leave us a comment below. Make sure you check out planacademy.com where we have a ton of other resources for users of Primavera P6 including our all-encompassing training courses. And if you want, check out these other videos. They're all really excellent. I'll see you again soon.